How you doing lads and lasses? So, part two of this driving thing. Now I don't know if I said it in the first one, but I am actually doing my um, my bike license I have to do kind of from scratch and my car license has just been transferred. But because of that, I need two of most things. For example, now I need, uh, I'm going into the Chanya, I think it's called. Chanya Medical Clinic. Uh, and hopefully I'm gonna get my two medical certs, one for bike and one for car. If any is wondering where this is, it's on a second road, basically. Uh, I don't know if you know the area, but just down there where the bad buses are touring there. That just brings you straight down to John TM Beach. So, uh, just straight across the road from that. It's, it's all within a, a couple of seconds radius for me. Uh, you have John TM Plaza over there also. So that's another marker. Now, the thing about this is there's absolutely tons of these places around for you to get your uh, you know, if you want to get your medical search things, I, I've only come to this one because it's the closest. I'm sure it'll be closer for you guys. So anyway, this is what I have to do this morning. I'm going to do that now. And then in the afternoon, I have to go and do my advanced uh, driving video or something it is in uh, advanced school. So we'll get to that in a bit. And uh, that's only for the motorbike, as I say, the car is just a transfer. One. So we'll see how it goes anyway. Listen, I'm going to go in and get these things first. So guys, I left the house at 10 o'clock. Uh, take me about five or six minutes to get here. Um, went in, done my medical, we'll say. Uh, it cost me 300 baht for the two of them. That's the bike and the car. So it's now at 10.45 so you're looking at probably half hour wait time when they printed out the medical things they took my blood pressure and done a few bits but uh yeah i have that done now my next stop now will be to go to the i'm gonna go home and get a bite to eat and then i'm gonna go to the advanced driving place to do my one hour motorbike course and uh that will be me done pretty much until next week but uh i'll get back to you when I'm at the advanced place and let you know how I get on with that one. I mean, I'll let you know what the story is with that. And uh, realistically, that should be all my paperwork in order. I think the only thing I have to do is I have to get a couple more passport photographs, which is easy enough to do. Uh, the cost, I don't know if I just said it there, but the cost was 300 baht for my medical. Uh, it was 150 baht for each one, one for the car, one for the bike. So I have them both in my bag here and I'm ready to roll again. So we're on a uh, part two here. Oh, oh noisy ambulances. Uh, yeah, I've getting my uh, driving licenses. So what I have to do now, uh, after I've done my medical this morning, uh, I went back home, had a bite to eat. Well, the sun's in my eyes now, I put sunglasses at home. Uh, I had a bite to eat and came back out again. Tammy dropped me down. She's gonna have to get some wheel stuff done. And uh, this is where I've come to advance uh advanced driving school patia now if you don't know where it is if you know bangkok um bangkok hospital patia which is here uh you can see it right there it's, it's just before that on sucking bit on the main sucking bit so you're coming down you'll see the bangkok hotel patia hospital patia and just before that you'll see here you, you'll see the advanced uh drivers you know i came in here i was here last week and i had pre-booked this and paid for it 300 baht so um i'm gonna do it all i'm gonna add it all up at the end but i reckon i'm gonna be saving and I, i'm gonna do a couple of comparisons when i do part three of this video a couple of comparisons with uh agencies because all going well with this i'm actually planning to do my own visa next year as well without going to an agency because i just think people say it's a lot of running around it's a little bit of running around so i'll tell you there's not but it's not a huge amount you know it's not something that would stress me out anyway i mean after all, i'm not doing much else here so i may as well be doing that so listen i'm gonna go in here i'll get back to you and let you know what the story is with this uh one hour course that i'm gonna do and uh let's see i'll let you know when i come out well lads and lasses oh oh look at me said about this this has got to be one of the most surreal things i've ever done in my life 
Um, so I have to come down, check in at 12.30 here for the advanced driving thing. But due to COVID, I can't go and watch the video. So I can sit inside, I can sit out here. I can do what I want. I can go and have a coffee, whatever I want to do. But I've got one hour to do it, because I have to be back at 1.30 to check out. And once I check out, she will give me my paperwork. And that's not done, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm lost for words. But uh, let's, let's, I'll check back the image at 1.30 or whatever, once I get my paperwork back and hopefully we're ready to roll again. Just some, um, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't have words. I don't have words at the moment. <laughs> Well, the surreal experience is over. Uh, 1.30, got on my paperwork. Tammy was done. And, uh, so you want to say hello, Tammy? Hello. Hello, <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, the surreal experience is done. I have all the paperwork, which is all I care about. And um, I turned up back around. And yeah, I'm all good. Uh, now, the last thing I have to do on Wednesday next week is go to the... Um, where are we going? Oh, you're going to seven. Uh, I have to go to the Department of Transport in Banglamung on Wednesday, present all my paperwork, and I am done. I should have two licenses, motorbike and car license, in my hand next Wednesday afternoon. So anyway, this is part two. I'll fill you in on the rest of part three next week. Uh, talk to you soon. Stay safe out there.